Hey, very good evening, everyone. Uh, let's give two to three minutes more for everybody to join in. Until then, if you have any questions, make sure that you can uh, uh, put it in the Q&A section or the chat section and we'll address it for you. Very good evening, Anjali. It's great to have you again. Uh, unfortunately, Praveen sir is not here, so uh, but we'll definitely relay uh, your uh, good wishes to him. So today is basically about uh, the project one of the guided building session, uh, the introduction that we did last time. So project one, before we talk about the next steps of project one, uh, our uh, technical head here, Mr. Deepak Chaudhary, will be talking about what exactly is Project 1 once again, if anybody has not been able to understand or comprehend from the video sessions. Because uh, I understand that uh, some of them, many of them have missed it. So we'll go through it again, and then we'll move on to the next steps. So stay around, and we'll be starting very soon. Thank you.
All right. All right. So we have a question from Devan, sir. I have been assigned project one, so I don't have to attend the classes on 14th and 15th. Yeah, right. So uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, uh, today's session should be enough for you. Project uh, for project two, we have the session tomorrow, and after tomorrow is for project three. All right. So I guess uh, that's our cue. Uh, we are way into the session, five, six minutes. So I think, Deepak, uh, we can begin. Yeah, sure. Just a Let me know when going to see my screen. Yeah, you can see this one. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, let me share. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Deepak Chaudhary, this side. So today we'll explore the coding part of Project One. That is voter interface DAP. Right. One important thing, as Deepak Singh mentioned, this session is for uh, students who have been allocated. With the project one so can you please raise your hand how many of you have got uh, project one Okay, many of them. Okay, sure. Okay, other uh, project student can stay and if you want, you can leave. It's totally up to you because we'll have a separate session for all the project, right? So please don't worry about that. We'll today yeah, we'll so, uh, focus on Deepak, that. Just one, yeah, Deepak, sorry, just one side note I'll give to people who may not be part of the uh, project one. So guys, what you can basically take away from this is... Uh, 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 the presentation that Deepak is showing here is for project one, right? Similarly, let's say you have been allocated project two or you have been allocated project three. In case you have not been allocated any project, then let us know. Uh, we'll check the data and then give you a, a lot of your project. So let's say Deepak is talking about project one. You can take the information of how, uh, where to upload what and how to use the information for your particular project. So let's say if you have, if we have a session tomorrow and we will be talking about your project and uh, like we require you to do certain things to complete certain things before uh, the discussion. So it might help you in that way. It will give you an idea as to where to upload uh, the work that you do. So you can be prepared earlier in that manner. Yeah, Deepak, sorry, please continue. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's uh, start the today's agenda. So first, uh, let's recap the project requirement that we do earlier also in the last session, right? So we uh, we have seen earlier, right? The project name is Voter Interface Tab, right? So in that, sudo is like an administrator. So it has a power to start the election or any member can nominate themselves for the election right and any user can come and vote for a candidate right and also sudo has a power to close the election right and after closing the winner would be declared right this is the overall uh, agenda of this uh, project or so we can say the idea right so let's uh, read the functionalities that we have written here first is election announcement right so the dab owner that is sudo will have the authority to announce the commencement of an election second is candidate nomination right so prospective candidate will have the ability to nominate themselves for the election right then we have admin approval 
uh, if I have nominate myself uh, for a candidate, then pseudo has a power to uh, accept that nomination or reject that nomination, right? So the DAP admin, who is also the owner, oversee the candidate nomination list, right? And then the admin will have authority to approve the candidate nomination, right? Also, we have voting process, right? The user can come and vote for their preferred candidate, right? And then after closing the election, the result would be declared, right? So these are the prerequisites. It's uh, in that your system should have a rushed environment setup, substrate environment setup, and for Windows user, uh, we have this link to first because uh, for window user you need to install WSL first and uh, then you need to do certain things like Hyper-V to enable that Hyper-V. You can go to this link and see all the steps are written here. And then what is the knowledge required to perform this project? First, you need to understand Rust and Substrate. For that, you can go to our uh, YouTube playlist. Uh, playlist contain all the videos that we have covered uh, in the recent CP, right? How to perform unit testing. There is a nice document. You can go through this, right? And if you want to explore more about the Web3 and blockchain, then you can go to this link and you will get that. All right. Next is project completion criteria. So this is the most important thing and uh, many of you are asking. See, first step is to complete the technical specification document, right? For that, we have a link for all the uh, project ideas, right? So for project one, we have a template for project two and project three, we, for all the project, we have uh, a template for you, right? You can just go to uh, down and access that. Then second step would be to complete the source code. We'll see what you need to complete, right? And after that, you'll uh, create a banner, right? And then you will make a demo video when you finish with all the functionality, all the test cases, then you will be uh, making a demo video for uh, showing all the functionalities are working or not. Right. And where you can submit all of this to submit, you have a form here, you can submit. Right. So in, in this form, you can only submit the THD, that is the technical specification document and the UTR. UTR is unit test result document. For code, you need to upload this code to your GitHub ID or you, you need to make your own repository. Then you will be uploading uh, your code into that repository and you are sharing that repository link in the form. Let me show you where we have here repository link right and in that repository you are uh, there is an option of readme uh, i'll show you where uh, you can find the readme so in that readme you are going to upload the banner right and in this document you are going to uh, share the unit test result document and the demo video link right Okay, any doubt in project requirement document? Project banner, uh, it's totally depend on you what uh, you can think about it. You just need, uh, it's uh, symbolize the project idea, right? So that's the main thing we are expecting. And uh, there's two requirement that IBC CP and one more thing you need to mention on the banner. So for that, you can access the uh, previous session. I have told you what 
other thing you need to mention on the banner, right? Any other doubt in project requirement? Yeah, Chandra, you need to submit THD today, right? So, and when you will upload the, when you will submit the repository link, then you can edit, just edit that form. For now, you have uh, just need to upload the THD and just submit that form. Right. And when you are, uh, when you will complete the code, just go to the form link and edit that form and paste the repository link. Okay, with Rust, how can we do a app service? Does not require HTML or Android Studio. No, for now you do not need to have a knowledge of Android Studio or HTML such type of. Thing. For now, we just you just need to uh, complete few lines of code, right? And we already have a UI where you can connect your blockchain to that UI and just run that. Just hold on for that. We'll show you. I'll show you how you can uh, test that. So in TID, I only use the topic and IBC media, which you have given to us, but I change the look of the video. Ah, no problem. That can we use HTML CSS? Uh, you can use HTML, CSS in a front-end part, but we are not going to build our own front-end, right? For using HTML, CSS, you will be using for your own uh, project idea when you will complete that and you will be going to uh, work on your project. Then you can use HTML, CSS and all. Chandra because sir, we have to submit Google Doc link to form and submit. I didn't get this question. Please be specific what you are asking. Yeah, Vishnavi. Uh, if you can see this. Only mandatory thing is only the mandatory thing is this upload solution TID. These are optional for now, right? So you can submit the uh, documentation here and just submit the form. And when you complete the repository, then you can paste the repository link here. Just edit this form and submit again. Can you access that from a PhD? Yes, you can access MOVNT. Slide link. Chandrakas, I didn't get it. Slide link. What is slide link? Which slide link you are asking? This. Are you asking about this? Project 1. Yes, Anjali. For this project, we just you just need to complete some lines. Okay.
okay we can go ahead now let's just test what we have uh, discussed here yeah right so for testing let me run my chain and to run the chain we have you just need to run this command right after com uh, compilation and you can see the chain is running okay okay to test from ui system net go to the pulka.js.org okay so we can see our chain is running right it's on 10th lock so first what we can do is uh, we can just fill the or transfer some balance to the accounts which doesn't have any like a parody charlie so what we can do is we can just send some trans uh, some balance to perform the transaction so that charlie can also perform the transaction right if you know to perform the any signed transaction you need to pay some fees right if charlie wants to vote on any candidate then he or she should have uh, some fee for that let's just send some money to charlie say 100 unit you can see here now charlie have 100 unit let's transfer some balance to um, have also that you need all right transfer e balls so the thing i'm doing is uh, you need to do same thing for the demo video right i'm uh, showing you all the functionalities that we have seen here right so we are checking or validating that our uh, d app is working as per the functionality or not right so first thing is let's just nominate the user as a candidate right for that let's go to the extensic and let's assume alice wants to be a candidate right so we have a four function cast vote raise join request as candidate start election and stop election right so ls is going to be used raise request as candidate and submit the transaction you can hear okay let's just bob also wants to join as a candidate right and let's assume bob again wants to perform this function then what happen then you can see user already present in the candidate list right or we can see a nomination list and when we perform this uh, action of uh, functions one thing is happened here so these are the uh, events when we transfer sub balance from bob stash to e 100 unit right so candidate request raised alice has request one raise uh, one request and also bob has raised one request for uh, join the candidate candidate list how where we can see uh, what all candidates list we have so you can see here so two accounts we have candidate list fgrw and f sorry 5 grw 5f gn gn let's see 
five G R W that is Alice account and the five F H N is Bob account, right? Okay, let's just perform the next operation. Go to the template module and uh, let's try to perform a start election. See, this uh, function should not uh, perform or should not get successfully, uh, successfully run because here we are uh, not uh, like doing this, performing this operation from the sudo, right? Start election. Uh, anyone cannot start the election. Only sudo has the power to start this election, right? So let's just see. We should get an error. It, to start an election, we have some uh, certain things. First is all the candidates, right? Sudo can see the candidate list from go to the chain state, and here she can see what all nomination we got, right? And then add it here. Let's Alice is also there in the nomination list. Right, Alice and Bob. We have added Alice and Bob as the candidate for this election. Right, and voter list will not need voter list for now because when user cast the vote, then we'll take the user account in the voter list. Then this is the status. It shows the election is uh, active or not. Right. Uh, when the election is closed, then the status would be no. And uh, for now, as we are starting the election, so we'll make status as yes. Let's just submit the transaction and see what bad origin, right? So this action can be performed only by the sudo, right? So for to perform by the sudo, let's just go to the sudo and go to the template module, raise election, and let's assume this is the election hash, right? And add the Alice and Bob as a candidate, right? Remove the voter and make the status yes. And again, try to submit this. All right, we have successfully start the election. We can see here, election is started. What all candidate, Alice and Bob, right? Voter list, we do not have uh, any voters right now. Right? So status of the election is yes. It is taking, uh, it is accepting the vote, right? And we haven't finalized the winner also, okay. So we have some doubts. Let's just see. Okay, it's not related to this. Okay, we can go ahead. Right, let's perform the next operation. Go to the extensive or the template module. Okay, so we have uh, performed the raise request, raise join request as candidate and stop election oh, sorry start election right so let's just okay let's assume alice stash is casting a vote in favor of alice alice stash is going to be cast a vote in favor of alice right and so we need to put the election has, right? And the vote, yes or no? Okay, and just submit the transaction. In block, let's see here, cast vote, Alice. Okay, let's just see the election status now right so here we have election this is the election hash right these are the candidates right and here we can see the voter list right 
and the status is still true winner we haven't finalized yet okay, let's just do some perform some more votes uh let's assume bob stash is going to support a bob okay okay uh we can perform one more vote okay let's just see charlie wants to cast a vote for a bob sign the transaction all right uh let's assume charlie wants to uh, cast a vote for alice also right so we should not perform this or we can see the error duplicate votes not allowed right? if any user can have performed uh, a voting on any other user so duplicate votes are not allowed let's just see the uh, cast vote events right so on uh, bob we have received one vote is that is yes and ls also we have received yes okay so we haven't let's just see the change state and this election okay if we want to see any particular candidate info right so now we can see the election info here and we need to see what is the status on uh, of this candidates this alice and bob right how many votes they get so for that just go to the change state template module and candidate list okay so you can see here let me close the okay so you can see uh, this one is bob right so the election has is this and total i vote i vote uh, is like yes right in favor or we can say so we got two uh, i vote for bob right and for for alice we got only one vote right so let's just see and try to close this election so for closing also only sudo has a power stop election and just pass the hash okay you can see go to the explore and just template module dot winner right open this okay what you can see is all candidate and the voter list right so these are the voters which vote on any candidate right now the status is no because the uh, election is closed now no more uh, voting can accept for uh, that particular election right so the status is no and we can see the winner also so the winner is bob all right and you can see this in the go to the change state and go to the election and you can see the election has and what is the winner of this has is this any doubt till now Guys, any doubt in this? We have seen all the functionalities, right? We just
Okay, let's, we can close this, right? And go to the next. Testing from UI, we have done that. Okay. Now you have seen all the functionalities uh, we have mentioned in the document. All are working fine. Then what you will, uh, what will be your work in this, right? So we are not going to share the full code with you. Instead of this, we have prepared a template for you, right? Where we have skipped few lines for you to code. Let's just understand the code and see what you can, what you need to do in that code. You can fetch this link, right? So this is the link for voter interface template. You need to clone this, right? Okay, let's just first see the code. You can see here to do's. These to do's you need to fill. You need to complete the code. Okay. Let's just understand all the code one by one. First, we have defined the vote as uh, anum, right? So in anum, we have two options, yes or no. Then we define an election info, right? So in election info, we, uh, we have seen uh, that we have uh, uh, all candidate, voter list, status, and winner, right? And then we define a candidate info. If we want to see uh, a particular candidate status, what all votes a particular candidate uh, get. So for that, we have defined a candidate info. In that, we have passed the account ID and the hash, right? So uh, for the particular uh, election hash, how many I vote and I vote particular candidate get. So we have only defined the structure, right? And here you can see, we have defined the storage. So we have one uh, storage called election. In election, uh, we have defined the storage map in which the hash is the key and the election info is the value. For particular hash, we have an election info. And election info, we have all candidate, voter list, theater, and winner, right? And one more thing, winner, we have uh, made an option because initially when a pseudo uh, start the election, so he or she needs to fill these parameters, right? But initially we can't predict who's going to be the winner. So for that, we have made winner as option, all right? Then we have candidate storage. In candidate storage, uh, account ID is the key and the candidate info is the value. A particular account, what is the information of that candidate? Right. Then we have candidate list. It's like a nomination list, right? So it basically contain only the account IDs. If I nominate myself, then it holds the vector of account ID. That's it. So then we have defined the event and error. We'll see all these events and errors. Let's just jump into the functions or we call it as dispatchable. Right. So first is raise request as candidate. Right. So this function should be signed. Right. For that we have uh, in ensure signed. The origin should be signed. Then we check for duplicate. Right. For duplicacy, we first need to fetch all the candidate list. Right. And then we check all the candidate dot contain who is who is already present in the candidate list or not. 
and if this function is false then the error would return right if it is already present then you can see the negation here then we make this parameter as false right so that we can return the error user is already present then if it is not present then we added we push who into the all candidate right all candidate uh, this is storage or this is a temporary variable right our main storage is candidate list right so we reflect this all candidate into the storage also put all candidate right and then we have uh, deposit the event deposit event and we uh, return the event as candidate re uh, request raised right and who has uh, re uh, raised the request then we pass the this who the candidate right and where we have defined this candidate request is here it we have seen uh, in the ui also if any candidate raised that request then we see who has uh, raised that right so we have completed this function any doubt till now It means we can check our created app as well through Polkadot. Yeah. For Polkadot, we can check our own app. We can build our uh, chain and check it from the Polkadot UI. Okay, for uh, if you face any problem during the coding, uh, let me tell you what uh, help I can uh, I can give you. Uh, see, I can explain you line by line code. If you find any a difficulty in understanding any line of code, so I can explain you, right? But I am not able to give you the exact code of this what you need to perform here all right you just need to apply some brain and you can do it okay let's just uh, go ahead and see next function that is start election for start election you can see the documentation also only sudo can perform this task sudo add the valid candidate in the candidate list and sudo change the status of the election that is inactive to active or active to inactive right so to check uh, the origin is sudo or not we use ensure root right and then we check is this hash is already present for that we use contain key for storage map because we have defined the election as storage map so for that we use contain key is this uh, has or key is present in the election or not if it is present then we return the error election already started all right and then if it is not present then we just add the election has and the election election is this it we get it from the sudo at last we just deposit the event right we just uh, return the election info then we have cast vote you can read the documentation any user can choose any valid candidate and cast the vote here we are assuming two things that all the candidates should have uh, one vote either it be i or nine right and duplicate votes are not allowed right and one more thing uh, we are assuming here is like 
uh, if we have Alice and Bob as a candidate, right? And both candidate get a two to uh, two I, and Alice get two I, and Bob get two I, or yes vote, right? So for now, we are assuming because uh, in calculation we are iterating over a vector, right? On of a candidate. So if a candidate get a two, let's say two I vote, right? And then we see Alice on Bob get a two I vote. So we are not uh, changing the storage or winner. First, if you heard about the linear search, so what we do is we just uh, search one by one by one. We first uh, declare the winner that Alice is going to be the winner. And we see Bob, and then we compare like is Bob vote is greater than the Alice or not? If it is greater than, then we change Alice to Bob, right? And if it is equal to, then we are not changing. Alice is going to be the winner. So that is the assumption here. Okay, let's just see. We have uh, we are uh, ensuring the origin should be signed. Then update the election storage, right? For that, uh, we first get all the elections, right? And if it is not present in the election, that is that means invalid election hash. All right. Then we define because we have seen duplicate votes are not allowed for that. You can see here election dot voter list election that voter list dot contain this should not present in the voter list of that election right if it is present then we return an error duplicate vote not allowed right also if candidate is not present right for that we check election dot all candidate dot contain this uh, candidate should be present in the all candidate list. Okay, and if it is not, then we just return invalid candidate fusion. All right, then uh, if, it, if we pass all the uh, conditions, then we add the who, which is the voter, into the voter list, election dot voter list. Right, then we update the election storage election dot insert the election has and the election election is the here we have defined the temporary variable because we have changed uh, or push one one more uh, voter in the election then we have we need to update the storage also right then update the candidate storage also we need to do this Right. If we want to see uh, any particular candidate status, then for that we need to update that. All right. Let's say uh, Alice and Bob are two candidates, and uh, Charlie come and cast a vote on Alice, and any other user came, like uh, Eve. Eve come and cast a vote. For that, if it is already initiated, because Chaldry has already initiated, then we go into the this loop. Otherwise, we go to the else. And if it is already initiated, that means we get the detail because it would have some uh, voter list because it is initiated. So we get the candidate detail, right? And this thing you need to do it, you need to cast the vote and update the story you just need to update the storage of candidate either the vote is i or my according to that and update the current vote vote you can see here you have uh, you get the vote as votes nm right just need to fill this, these two to-dos. And if it is not initialized, 
then you need to initialize a new candidate info right for uh, initializing a new candidate info you can see uh, let me show you i think we will see in the uh, next function so for initializing a new candidate info you need to initialize all the candidate info uh, parameters you can see here candidate info parameters what we have yeah candidate info so you need to initialize the can election hash and the vote total i and total i because initially will initialize i and i as zero right then update the current vote and just deposit the event okay so we have last function that is stop election you can uh, read about the uh, documentation only sudo can perform this task when election is stopped then the winner will be announced assumptions if we are iterating over the vector of candidates so if two candidates have common number of votes then the first user will be the winner so that is the assumption that we have all the candidate have at least one vote okay to perform the uh, this function stop election first we'll check root and then we get the election from the election storage and we see if it is already stopped right so for that we check election dot status right if it is false then we return that it is already uh, inactive otherwise we are here going to make the status as false then these are the steps to calculate the winner first we'll uh, get all the candidate from election dot all candidate right then first we make the vote count as zero and we are iterating over all the candidates right then we get uh, all the candidate vote info vote info and if vote count is less than vote info dot total i vote dot length because total i vote is the vector right so we can count the length and if it is less than then that means we need to <coughs> change the vote count vote count is vote info dot total i vote dot length and then we uh, update the winner also because we have defined the winner as option so to initialize the option we because in option we have two things some or none right so we are telling here is we have something that is i i dot clone right for one iteration we are saying that this is the winner and in next iteration if any candidate got more vote then we again uh, change the winner at last we uh, update the storage of election right election has and the election and then we deposit the event so you can see here just very few line you need to do all right any doubt in this let me see we have all of you are cleared with what you need to do you need to fill these two rows right okay let's just okay i know it uh, might seem uh, difficult initially but uh, when you sit with this code and like understand line by line right line by line yourself then 
things would make uh, more sense for you. Right. Okay, let's just see the next is test cases. Now, how you will uh, know whether your whether the code that you have written is correct or not? Right. For that, you need to run cargo dash tests. Let me show you what is the correct command for stop this control C. Right. Cargo test test. So this command is used to test all the integration tests that we put in the uh, let me show you where we have put all the test cases. Here you can see these are the test cases that will check all the functionalities that you would return in the lib.rs. Okay, so let's just run this. However, you can see, like you can see here, all the test cases are passed. But in your template, some test cases are failed. So if your code is uh, fully correct, then only the test case would be passed. Right? After that, you need to fill this, this sheet. When you get uh, all the test cases are passed, then you will fill this here you can see let me show you test test this is going to be the name and the description description is this past vote on invalid election election has that is going to be filled so you mention this in the test description and you can see here okay so it means the uh, the test is successfully passed Right. And when you uh, try to run this command in the template, you will get a uh, few test cases are failed because we haven't do the or we haven't finished the coding part because of this. Right. Now, the next thing is banner. You need to make a banner which represent your project idea. Your project idea means a voter interface that, right? And it will upload on the GitHub. When you upload the upload the or make the repository, right? Here you can see the readme, right? When you uh, create the banner, just tap here and you can delete this and drag and drop uh, your banner here and just commit change that's it all right let's just see in the summary first what you need to do is you need to clone the repository that is this let me share this in the chat Done. The link and uh, I'll add this link in the project requirement document also, so you can refer that. Right. First, you need to clone this repository. Right. Complete the pending codes. That is to do's right then just run the code for the validation right and if all the test cases uh, are passed then you upload this code in your github right and after uploading you will share your repository link in the form where you have submit the thd just edit that form and paste the repository link so these all forms are same, right? So you just need to edit that form and fill the new entry. After that, you need to uh, upload the UTR. UTR is 
this right and upload a demo video so timeline you can see here till uh, the upload is, uh, uploading of code you have plenty of time till 26 september right then for demo video you need to complete it this way uh, 30 30th september okay so any doubt in this Devans, i think he got an answer Okay, for upload and create a video. See, when you are done with the coding and the banner and the UTR, then what you will do is you will go to the, uh, like what we have done uh, earlier. I have just shown you the running chain and then we test all the functionalities on the ui so same thing you will need to do you need to test all the functionalities from the ui and you are uh, recording the screen for that okay any other doubt not only this testing demo video contain all the functionalities that we see here in the polka.ui you are going to run all the functions like start election close elections or stop election right raise request as a nomination so you need to perform all the functions okay any other See, when you uh, have the video, just upload it on your drive or any other uh, storage. You just need to share the link of that video in this form. So the the doc, the Google Doc doc uh, the Google Doc that has been shared uh, in your projects in front of your name has all the links that we are showing here. So, and this form is basically an editable form. So, so each of the steps that we discuss here, keep doing it one by one and so keep submitting it. So later on, when you move to the next step, then you again submit in the same form, you up upload the data or the new item that uh, new task that you have to complete and then re upload it. So we will have that data, all the data that you are putting compiled in one place. And that keeps getting updated by itself. So you won't have to do go for multiple Google forms or different links. It's just all in one place. So keep adding the items, keep keep completing the tasks one by one, and we'll be good to go. So Vaishnavi, uh, you are asking as code will be inserted later through visual code. See, let me tell you again the step. First, you need to clone just finish the task right and then you are going to upload this code in your repository right and we just need that repository link in the form okay is that clear Yeah, same link. These all links are same. Just go and add it. Yeah. 
Ya, ya, ya. Hold on. Here you can see technical solutioning back and then you need to upload the repository link, UTR document link and video demo, demo video link. Is there any doubt? All right, so I think uh, we are done for today, Deepak. Yeah, okay. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks, Deepak. Tomorrow we have discussion for project two. So, uh, so do join in if you're part of project two, or even if you just want to have a more understanding of different projects, then also it's fine. Just make sure that you do the projects allocated to you. All right, guys, have a great night. See you all tomorrow. Uh, I mean, not all, but uh, see you all in the next uh, step. And we'll uh, be sending you the information as to when we'll be discussing uh, the next steps with you. But uh, make sure that you do all that we have discussed here uh, and all that Deepak has uh, mentioned. All right, guys, thank you once again. Uh, have a great day ahead and see you all very soon. Thanks.